So real estate, and I can't believe you don't need glasses. Oh, well, that's really nice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> need so many other things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, be thankful for what you can. <laughs> exactly. I played my last game of pickleball for the year yesterday, and that's really sad for me because that's what gets me out and, you know, yeah. active and stuff. <clears throat> Where do you play? Outside in the parks with, with you know, hats and gloves and, you know, the whole works. <laughs> At uh, Beachwood Bluffton Park, but uh, Roosevelt Park has courts that we use or have used. Um, there's some places in Spring Lake, um, but there's one, in, there's one in North Muskegon as well. But I haven't played. <laughs> My new favorite thing. But amazingly, we've been playing outside since April. Not one person has gotten COVID out of like 35 people. So outside is the ticket. You bet. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> well, my son came down with it and was in quarantine for... Um. 10 days and uh, just just went back to work. Uh, he worked from home all the time when he was there. But uh, Does he know where he got it? Yeah, well, he suspects that he got it at his employment. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm relieved to see the numbers start to go down, but they're still really high. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be interesting to see how they put out the notices for the vaccine recipients. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be in the second group. Oh, you're just a kid. Sure you will. What? You're just a kid, so you'll be in the second group. Well, I'm not a health, uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, first line of defense. I'm just old. <laughs> What's old? How old are you these days? I'm 75. Oh, you're just a kid. Isn't you, know, <laughs> I was going. I was going to ask for a second to that motion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Madrid. Realistine, you're a young end. Pardon. I said, I'm the majorette. No, you're too young. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Oh, all have one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. Who are we missing? <coughs> um, uh, Commissioner. Mahoney. Mahoney is no, Mahoney. Dennis and Commissioner Hughes, right? She's on. She's on now. So we got eight. <laughs> now, I don't know if everybody knows or not, but I got a text saying that the, re the uh, recount of the Susie Hughes district, uh, that recount is done, and she picked up six votes and he picked up one. Congratulations, Commissioner. Hey, Susie. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Congratulations, Susie. I was there. Did it did it go smoothly? Yes, it went very smoothly. They did an oh, excellent good. job. Yes, real estate was there. Thank you very much. Yes. The funny part was they found another 200 votes for me. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> In the wrong district. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Remember, it's all about Bob. It's about Bob. <clears throat> uh. 
Well, Commissioner Nash, I think we're ready to go. All righty. At this time, we will open the Muskegon County Community Development Strategic Planning Committee with a roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Foster? Here. Commissioner Javi Wright? Here. Chairman Hughes? Here. Commissioner Laring? Here. Uh, Commissioner Mahoney is excused today. Commissioner Skolnick? Here. Commissioner Snyder? Here. Commissioner Wilkins? Here. Commissioner Nash? Commissioner Nash? Um, could you unmute him again? Thank you very much. There you go. Go ahead. I am here. Good. I forget when I log out, we can't get back in. <clears throat> All right, if we can move that agenda up. Next is the approval of the minutes for May 14th, 2020. So moved. Oh. It's Second. been moved and supported. Any questions or corrections? Seeing none, all those in favor, use a vote of saying aye. 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 And if aye. anyone is opposed, use a vote of no. And that motion passes. Next up is public comment on an agenda item. Is there anyone in the public that would like to comment on an agenda item? I do not Looking see any hands. hands. Any hands? No, I do not. No one in the public raising their hand for a comment on agenda item. That is great. Mark, I just realized, do we have to announce where we're at for this meeting? Oh, I sure. know we do for, for, for full board. Um, it would be, i go ahead and do that again for committee as well. I'll confirm that with Mike when he gets on later for public works, but I would go ahead and do it. Just in case. Yes. Uh, could you do that roll call once more, Madam Clerk? Commissioner Foster? Muskegon. Commissioner Javi Wright? City of Muskegon. Chairman Hughes? Muskegon. Commissioner Lehring? Muskegon County Boardroom. Commissioner Skolnick? Uh, the great city of Norton Shores. Commissioner Snyder? City of Muskegon. Commissioner Wilkins? City of Muskegon Heights. Chairman Nash. And I am the city of Muskegon. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And we will move on to items for consideration. First up is CD 20 slash 12 dash 08. Move to approve the Lakeshore Museum City's fiscal 2021 budget. So moved. Or moved by Commissioner Schneider, supported by Commissioner Hubby Wright. Any questions or discussion? You know, um, Commissioner Nash, um, there was there's somebody on this call from the museum, isn't there? I saw somebody and then they disappeared. <coughs> they disappeared. Uh, if they would like to speak, could we get them to raise their hand? Uh, how do I raise my hand? Sorry, I'm not raising my hand for me. Oh, we hear you. Uh, state your name for us, please. Um, Melissa Horton, Vice President of the Lake Museum Center. Thank you. Okay, I'm just, I'm just. Um, oh, there you are. Hi, Hi Bob. Who's, uh, who's the acting? Is there a, a new executive or? Nope. Um, right now, I'm kind of unofficially acting as director as the vice president or. Melissa, I can't under the sound is really bad. Is that better? A little. Yes. Okay. So right now what is happening is um let me hang on, Bob. Let me kind of open up my laptop and see if it get better. Mm-hmm. 
Better? Okay. So yeah. right now, as vice president, I am kind of acting as head of the institution with um, the board. We've started an oversight committee <clears throat> of board members to assist. And probably what is going to happen is as of January, we'll be putting out an ad to look for a director and with the hopes of having somebody in place by March. Okay. Has Anushka resigned? Yes, Anushka is no longer with us. Um, she was, I think August, end of August, she was um, resigned. Oh, I missed that, thanks. You're welcome. That oh. certainly wasn't well circulated. Mm -mm. I think we put something out with our membership. How are things going? I think they're going very well. We have a very seasoned staff. Um, I've been there for 22 years. And so we're just keeping on. Um, the pandemic is making everything fun, just like for everybody else. But we, we're still serving our community. We're still doing programs just virtually. We're yeah. still in the school systems. Um, we zoom into them and do our field trips, just like, you know, in our programs, just like normal. So. Um, so, you know, the only thing's different is just not having people in our buildings. It's it's quiet and it's sad. Is there, is there, I'm, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to, but is there still um, thoughts about an, adding on to that building? So we have not made any decisions at this time. We're going to hopefully go into strategic planning after the first of the year. Um, maybe even, you know, as early as March, we want to have strategic planning done. I think the idea is to wait to have a new director before we do that step. And that will lead us into what we're, where we're going to go with the expansion and the timeline for that. Okay, so you're, you're the interim though. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm not officially named the interim though. So I want to be careful with that. Um, they have not officially named me the interim, but I'm the one that is basically here overseeing the museum. Okay. Well, I'll take good care of my museum. I am. <laughs> I love it too. So, anything significant you'd like to speak on regarding the budget? And just to point out, um, for for those of you who have seen our budgets in the past, um, because of COVID, you'll notice that we were very conservative with our um, income projection, um, with admissions and things like that. We know that um, depending on how long if this lasts another year, it's going to affect cruise ships not coming to Muskegon, tourism being down, which affects us. So we've taken that into account and we're gonna be, we're just gonna be um, really living within our means this next year and really tightening our budget and um, trying to you know, make sure that we can float out the lack of admission. All right, thank you very much. Welcome. Anyone have any questions for her? Yes, Mr. Chair, I, I didn't pick up her name, I'm sorry. It's Melissa Horton. Great, Melissa. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, roll call, Madam Clerk. Chairman Hughes. Chairman Hughes. Is she muted? I'll come back to her. Commissioner Larry. Yes. Commissioner Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Snyder. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Foster. Yes. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yes. Chairman Hughes. Commissioner Nash. Yes. I believe that was uh, seven yes. So mm -hmm. that motion will pass. And we will move on to the next item. The next item is 20-12-09. Move to reallocate 250,000 from the parks fund balance to a new budget called Dune Harbor Park for the proposal of matching private foundation and MDNR grant to establish a budget to open the Dune Harbor Park, the New Jersey property after acquisition by the county. So move. Second. 
It's been moved and seconded. <clears throat> Any questions, discussion? Mr. Chair, I have a question, if I may. Commissioner uh, Laird. What is the balance fund remaining in this uh, account once we take this money out of there? Uh, Bob Lukens, Community Development Director. Uh, Commissioner, the balance currently is about $511,000. So this would reallocate $250,000 of that to a separate line item. Uh, that would leave $261,000 in the, the main parks reserve fund or fund <laughs> balance, and then $250,000 in, an, in another line item um, known as the Dune Harbor Park uh, Fund. Okay. Uh, I, and if I follow up to that question, if I may, when we <clears throat> purchased the or, or sent the grant out or approved the grant for the Nugent property, I was under the impression that no county funds, we were going to do private fundraising for the whole uh, matching grants that we had to provide. I didn't, I didn't think that we were supposed to be, the county wasn't supposed to be putting into this project. It was supposed to be all matching grants from outside of the county. Yes, sir. That's the case for the acquisition of the property. The, the property cost was um, approximately $15 million dollars. And um, we re we've received five million of that from the state. Uh, that has not yet been approved by the state, but it's uh, it's been recommended by the um, by the uh, MDNR Trust Fund uh, Trustee Board. Um, so they have approved that, and that goes on to the legislature and the governor for signature. Um, uh, the intent of the county is to apply for this. Uh, uh, another 5 million in the FY21 cycle, or yeah, I think that's that, FY, or the calendar year 21 cycle, grant cycle, that would complete um, the purchase of the property. So as far as the acquisition of the property is concerned, the county won't be um, expending any funds on that. The development of the property um, has, um, is, is, expected to be um, completed with a fundraising effort that has really already begun by the, uh, the, um, the land, Holy land Conservancy, right? The Land Conservancy of West Michigan um, has already begun, to, begun a fundraising effort on behalf of Dune Harbor Park and the Nugent property. And um, they've already had a commitments of $350,000 this will be an additional um, 250,000 that will be able to be used in the future after our master planning is complete to match funds from uh, not only the DNR and the trust fund and the various DNR grants, but also uh, foundation grants and um, private individuals that may be interested in donating to the park. Um, there are, there are many, many foundations that are, involved in land and wildlife preservation um, that the uh, county and the parks department intends to go after grant funding for. And this would uh, allow us to match many of those grants. I have a question, Mr. Chair. Go right ahead, Commissioner. I'll help you write. Yeah, um, I know that uh, we have to open it for public use uh, within 90 days of when we uh, acquire the property in the spring. Uh, what will we have to do initially to open it and make it available? Well, our plan thus far, uh, we've been doing some uh, inquiries on what those costs would be. And what, what it looks like we'll have to do, Commissioner, is develop a parking area that will initially be a gravel parking area that will be lit. So um, during, times, during the times of year that we're in now, for instance, when it gets dark early, we'll have lights on that lot. <laughs> Um, there will be some trail development. Um, currently, there are two tracks out on the property, um, but those will be blazed into regular um, uh, uh, hiking trails and recreational trails. Um, we'll also put uh, porta, porta potties out there for, uh, for uh, visitors' use. Um, we'll have signage at the property, and uh, we will gate off that parking lot um, during that first year and in the initial um, opening of the project. 
Great, thank you. Any other discussion? <clears throat> Seeing none, roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Snyder. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Foster. Yes. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yes. Chairman Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Eight yes. And that motion passes. Next up is old business. Any old business to come before this committee? New business, any new business to come before this committee? Speaking of old business, Bob, you mentioned something and I was wondering if this would have any impact on the um, capital needs or development needs that we have for the parks. Is Bob still with us? Bob Skolnick or Bob, Bob Lukens? Lukens. Here I am. Here I am. I'm a, I just got unmuted. Um, no, it really won't, Commissioner. We're going to apply for grants for uh, the the um, bathhouse, uh, you know, the large bathhouse. We'd like to apply for any grant or, or for an, a grant for that. And we'd also um, like to apply for a potential grant for a garage for out at Pioneer Park to store all of the parks, uh, maintenance equipment, tractors and vehicles. Um, so it really won't affect those at this time. Um, we'll make sure that in those uh, grant requests that the funding is available to move forward with both of those projects when it comes time to, uh, you know, make those projects happen. Okay. All right. Um, Commissioner Nash, could we yes. go back to 08 and ask Chairman Hughes her vote? Oh, yes. Commissioner Hughes, we didn't, we couldn't hear you or we didn't hear you vote on the first item, which was. I'm, I'm sorry, I got, I could not hear what was going on. So I re-logged in. My vote on that is yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that Thank was the museum. Much, but... All right. Now we're at the point of public comment. Is there anyone in the public that would like to have a comment on a, anything? Don't see any hands raised. Nope, uh, looks like Brenda Moore is trying to comment, but she's waving her hand. Brenda Moore trying to get in. Brenda, you're open. Am I? Can you hear me? Yeah. Now we can. I just wanted to say how excited I am about the the property acquisition out by Lake Michigan. Um, that's just mm -hmm. fantastic. They haven't voted yet, so it's not a cash in the bank, but that is so exciting. And um, I just commend everybody involved in that and the county board having the foresight to take that step. Yes, I think the path is moving forward. And um, still have another, well, we have to finish this round and then I think we have another round to go through, but it's looking good so far. Yeah, very exciting. Bob, when do you think that second uh, step would take place? Around what time next year? Uh, we're working on that now, actually, Commissioner. Uh, the grant is due April 1st of 2021. So um, a, a lot of the documentation is is already in our hands. Um, for the first grant application, um, we requested the entire $10 million. Um, so, you know, a lot of that documentation we have. Uh, so we'll be making that application. Um, actually, we're working on it now, but it'll be submitted, you know, in plenty of time for the grant deadline by April 1st, 21. Great, great. All right. Any final board comments? No one? I'll set Great the motion. Job, Charles. Is that 
<laughs> Appreciate it, Commissioner Foster. <laughs> I accept the motion for adjournment. So moved. And this committee is adjourned.